Dr. Lee includes a lot of information in his book. A reader's first reaction may be to feel overwhelmed at his detailed account of the workings of the body's health systems, the studies and research supporting his recommendations about foods that strengthen these systems, and the steps to implement his 5 by 5 by 5 framework. But don't let that scare you off. His writing is clear, relatable, and easy to understand even by those who have no medical or nutritional background. He gives examples that are interesting and do a good job highlighting his key points. He provides information in a way that is not condescending or overly critical. Eat to Beat Disease is divided into three parts. In the first part, Dr. Lee describes each of the body's health defense systems and how they keep the body functioning and thriving. In the second part, Dr. Lee provides his recommendations on what to eat to strengthen each of the five health defense systems. And in the third part, Dr. Lee gives practical advice for working these health-bolstering foods into your daily diet. Dr. Lee's plan is workable because it is simple. Just choose your five favorite foods from the list he provides and make sure you eat those every day. They will presumably be foods you know you enjoy, so you don't need to feel deprived or compelled to eat something you don't want to eat. By the end of the week, you've eaten 35 foods that have been shown to improve your health. One possible criticism of Dr. Lee's guide is that he focuses to a large degree on foods only found in a vegetarian diet. While he may believe that a diet that focuses away from meats is preferable, and he may be correct in this belief, the reality is that not everyone holds this view. So, some additional guidance on which meats, aside from tuna, anchovies, and clams, are healthiest would be useful. Overall, Dr. Lee's book is well worth the read. He's given us a very practical, easy-to-understand field guide on how best to help your body fight disease. Key Takeaway 1. Food can be medicine or poison. Research on the power of food to prevent or reverse disease has been steadily accumulating and a clear picture has emerged. Eating the right foods can slow inflammation, which makes the body inhospitable to cancer cells. It can boost your immune system, allowing your body to fight off disease. It can protect your body's cells from damage. It can improve your gut health. It can bolster and support your body's critical disease-preventing and disease-fighting systems the way no medication can. Eating the wrong foods, however, can put you on a path toward chronic, life-threatening diseases. Let's take a closer look. Vitamins and Minerals Your body only needs small amounts of vitamins and minerals, but this small amount is critical for your health. The bad news is that the typical Western diet, which focuses on processed foods to the exclusion of whole foods, doesn't give you the vitamins and minerals you need. This puts you at a much higher risk for disease. For example, insufficient intake of vitamin C, vitamin D, and folate can lead to heart problems, a weakened immune system, and increased risk for cancer. Plant Compounds Plants, like vegetables, fruits, beans, and grains, have lots of beneficial compounds. Take antioxidants found in many plants, for example. Antioxidants protect cells from damage that may otherwise lead to serious disease. Studies show that people who eat a lot of food rich in antioxidants have lower rates of diabetes, heart disease, and even depression and dementia. Fiber Every healthy diet needs plenty of fiber. Fiber promotes good digestion and elimination and also feeds beneficial bacteria in your gut. Studies show that foods with lots of fiber help decrease inflammation and boost your immune system. Diets that are low in fiber, on the other hand, are linked to higher risk of diseases such as colon cancer and stroke. Protein Proteins contain amino acids, which support immune function, metabolism, and muscle synthesis. Healthy Fats Healthy fats provide fuel for your body and help your body absorb nutrients. Omega-3 fatty acids are known to help regulate inflammation and improve heart health and immune function. Food as Poison 
Just as eating certain foods can enable your body to protect itself from disease, there are other foods that are known to lead to chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and cancer. These foods include fast food, processed food, refined grains, and sugary drinks. These foods not only fail to provide you with the nutrients your body needs to protect itself from pathogens and disease, they also actively harm your gut bacteria, cause inflammation and insulin resistance, and increase your overall risk of disease. In fact, a study of over 100,000 people found that every 10% increase in processed food intake resulted in a 12% increase in cancer risk. Another study on worldwide mortality and disease indicated that in 2017, 11 million deaths and 255 million disability-adjusted life years were most likely caused by poor diet. Key Takeaway 2 Angiogenesis Angiogenesis is the process in which our bodies grow and maintain blood vessels. Blood vessels are supporters of life in that they deliver oxygen and nutrients to our organs. As long as the angiogenesis system functions correctly, blood vessels grow correctly, that is, in the right place at the right time. But sometimes blood vessels can grow abnormally and nourish microscopic cancers. A healthy angiogenesis system is able to regulate when and where blood vessels grow which helps prevent tumors from usurping their own blood supply for growth. But when the body is no longer able to control and regulate blood vessels, a wide range of diseases, including cancer, can occur. This is a balancing act, and this is the reason angiogenesis is so important to overall health. According to Dr. Lee, when angiogenesis is properly functioning, it acts as a powerful health defense system that cuts off blood supply to tumors, meaning that cancer never becomes a big problem. All of our bodies form microscopic cancers all the time. Autopsy studies of people who died in car accidents show that 40% of women between the ages of 40 and 50 actually have microscopic cancers in their breasts. About half of men in their 50s and 60s have microscopic prostate cancers. And virtually all of us, by the time we reach our 70s, will have microscopic cancers growing in our thyroid. But without blood supply, most of these cancers will never become dangerous to us. It is the body's ability to balance angiogenesis which prevents blood vessels from nourishing cancers. This is one of the most important defenses against cancer. Without blood supply, cancer simply cannot grow. So angiogenesis is a controlling factor between whether a cancer remains harmless or becomes deadly. Dr. Lee writes that we can prevent cancer by cutting off its blood supply. We achieve this by eating anti-angiogenic foods. Dr. Lee's research has revealed a number of foods that are naturally anti-angiogenic, meaning they block blood vessel growth and inhibit cancerous cells from developing into cancer. Here are some of those foods. Green tea. Green tea contains a natural chemical called EGCG. EGCG is an anti-angiogenic compound which cuts off the blood supply that feeds cancers. Studies show that women who drink two to three cups of green tea per day have a 44% reduced risk of colon cancer. Soy. Studies link soy to longevity and health. A study of 5,000 women who have breast cancer showed that the more soy the women ate, the longer they lived, and, after remission, the more soy the women ate, the less likely the cancer was to come back. According to the study, the sweet spot for soy is about 10 grams of soy protein per day. Tomatoes Tomatoes contain a compound called lycopene which restricts blood vessel growth. Cooking a tomato for a couple of minutes increases the body's ability to absorb lycopene. San Marzano tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, red black skin tomatoes, and tangerine tomatoes are the varieties with the best anti-angiogenic properties. Red wine. Red wine is associated with both anti-angiogenic benefits and cardiovascular benefits. 
This is due in part to a compound found in red wine known as resveratrol. The most potent anti-angiogenic wines are Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Petit Verdot. Of course, please note that high levels of alcohol intake, including wine, can cause atrial fibrillation, hemorrhagic stroke, cardiomyopathy, and esophageal and liver cancer. Moderation is key. Beer Beer hops contain the anti-angiogenic compound xanthohumerol. A study by the U.S. National Cancer Institute found that drinking approximately five beers per week was associated with a 33% reduced risk for kidney cancer. The same caution we gave for wine also goes for beer. High intake levels are dangerous and not recommended. Other anti-angiogenic foods recommended by Dr. Lee include blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, oranges, grapefruits, lemons, apples, pineapples, cherries, red grapes, bok choy, kale, ginseng, maitki mushrooms, licorice, nutmeg, artichokes, pumpkin, sea cucumber, tuna, parsley, garlic, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and dark chocolate. Key Takeaway 3. Regeneration When Dr. Lee talks about regeneration, he's really talking about the body's stem cells. Stem cells are special human cells that have the power to develop into many different cell types, from muscle cells to brain cells. In some cases, stem cells can also fix damaged tissues. Scientists believe that stem cell-based therapies may someday be able to treat serious illnesses like paralysis and Alzheimer's disease. How exactly stem cells work is still a mystery to us, but we do know that they are producers of certain important chemicals our organs need to grow and repair. We also know that babies are born with a large supply of stem cells, but that the number and potency of these cells diminish with age. Over the years, stem cell activity can also be decreased by smoking, air pollution, and alcohol consumption. When this system comes under fire, the body may reach a state where there aren't enough stem cells to adequately repair blood vessels, heart muscle, and brain tissue. It's clear that stem cells are an important player in the body's defenses against illness and disease. According to Dr. Lee, then, we should eat at least one food every day that protects and supports our stem cells. These foods can do everything from repairing damaged organs to counterbalancing the effects of eating too much fat. What are those foods? Read on. Dark Chocolate A study by researchers at the University of California in San Francisco showed that dark chocolate, chocolate that's greater than 70% cacao, helps activate the body's stem cells. Dark chocolate contains natural chemicals called flavanols, which can help activate and regenerate stem cells. Turmeric Turmeric contains curcumin, which has been shown to have pro-regenerative properties. Green tea One study showed that four cups of green tea per day increased the number of stem cells by 43% in two weeks. Black tea Dr. Lee also recommends black tea for stem cell health. Red wine. According to Dr. Lee, one to two glasses of red wine per day may increase stem cell activity. Mediterranean diet. The fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, nuts, olive oil, and fish eaten found in a Mediterranean diet also help stimulate stem cells. Foods to avoid. Dr. Lee writes that high-fat, high-salt, or high-sugar diets may stunt stem cell activity. Key Takeaway 4. Microbiome Doctors once thought of microorganisms as disease carriers that should be sterilized and scrubbed off. Now, we know that most of the bacteria in our body actually work in very sophisticated ways to keep us healthy. Researchers are still learning about the microbiome and how it contributes to health, but we now know that some gut bacteria, 
such as Lactobacillus plantarum, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, and Bacillus mycoids influence our endocrine and hormone systems and our brain's neurotransmitters. Another type of gut bacteria has been shown to reduce stress and anxiety. Our bacteria also influence angiogenesis, stem cells, and immunity. According to Dr. Lee, far from being insignificant, our microbiome, made up of gut bacteria, may make the difference between developing a serious disease or resisting it, between life and death. A healthy microbiome means a healthy gut and immune system. On the other hand, when our microbiome is disturbed, we not only have gut problems, but we may also have immune problems. Some cancers are also associated with gut problems. The diversity of our microbiome is a critical hallmark of our health. The microbiome is an ecosystem, and the more numerous and diverse bacteria we have, the healthier we are. On the flip side, some substances created by our microbiome can be toxic. For example, bacteria like desulfovibrio create hydrogen sulfide, which damages our gut lining and leads to leaking food particles, which in turn causes an inflammatory reaction in the gut. Food has what Dr. Lee calls an astonishing ability to influence the microbiome. That's because our bacteria eat what we eat. Prebiotic foods can improve the function of your microbiome. Probiotic foods, which are foods that contain healthy microbes, can also introduce new bacteria into the microbiome. When you begin eating food in a way that influences your microbiome, your body will experience an immediate benefit. A microbiome with too few beneficial bacteria can be enriched by diet, and a microbiome with too many harmful bacteria can have those reduced with diet. Probiotic foods include the following. Yogurt mixed with bacteria for fermentation. Sauerkraut. A single cup contains up to 5 trillion beneficial bacteria. Kimchi. Contains beneficial bacteria such as bacteroidetes, firmicutes, and lactobacillus. Cheese. Cheese is made with a starter culture which is composed of different types of bacteria. Sourdough bread. Made with a starter containing lactobacillus bacteria. Prebiotic foods are foods that are non-digestible and feed the healthy bacteria in our intestines. They are not themselves microbes, but increase the function of existing healthy gut bacteria. Prebiotic foods include apricots, arugula, asparagus, black beans, cabbage, pumpernickel bread, kiwi, broccoli, cauliflower, bamboo shoots, dark chocolate, walnuts, mushrooms, red wine, olive oil. Dr. Lee writes that your guiding principles for taking care of your microbiome should be to eat lots of dietary fiber, focus on whole foods, and eat less animal protein. Our bodies are not built to consume the amount of animal protein typical in the Western diet. More animal protein typically means more inflammation and less fiber, neither of which are good for our guts. Also avoid artificial sweeteners, which have been linked to decreased beneficial bacteria. Key Takeaway 5. DNA Protection DNA is the genetic material that makes each of us who we are. It determines certain innate characteristics, like height and eye color, and also determines how our bodies function. Each of the 50 trillion cells that make up the body contains a complete set of instructions. The long molecules of DNA in your cells are organized into 23 pairs of chromosomes inherited from your parents, half from your mother and half from your father. These chromosomes are further organized into short segments called genes. Genes instruct your cells how to function. Depending on the makeup of your genes, your DNA will create different proteins which cause your cells to react in different ways. Some medical conditions, like certain cancers, can be linked to genes. Some other medical conditions, like obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes, don't have a single genetic cause, but are the result of small changes to multiple genes, combined with lifestyle and environmental factors. We all encounter damage to our genetic code through pollution, industrial toxins, emotional stress, and ultraviolet radiation. 
Damage to DNA results in malfunctioning genes, which in turn may lead to aging, damage to organs, and to cancer. According to Dr. Lee, certain foods and drinks can help you protect your DNA from both environmental damage and naturally occurring damage. Science shows that diet and lifestyle can actually influence your genes and tip the odds in favor of overcoming any genetic tendencies you might have to certain diseases. One type of nutrient that can help with this is antioxidants. These are natural substances found in certain foods that help neutralize environmental and naturally occurring oxidative damage to DNA. Dr. Lee cites a study which found that when participants drank orange juice, rich in the antioxidant vitamin C, their body acquired an improved ability to protect DNA as quickly as two hours after drinking the juice. Foods rich in antioxidants, which protect against or help repair DNA damage, include the following. Berries, kiwi, carrots, broccoli, tomato, watermelon, guava, pink grapefruit, marine omega-3 fats. Dr. Lee recommends hake, sea cucumber, yellowtail, tuna, and batarga. Another mechanism for protecting your DNA from damage includes eating foods which help your body activate beneficial DNA and silence harmful DNA. These foods and drinks include soy, broccoli, cauliflower, coffee, green tea, turmeric, basil, marjoram, sage, thyme, peppermint. You can also eat foods that have been shown to protect telomeres. Telomeres are protective caps which cover the ends of strands of DNA. The fraying or damage of telomeres is associated with aging and disease. Foods and drinks that have been shown to counteract telomere shortening include coffee, green tea, nuts, walnuts, cashews, almonds, seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, foods associated with the Mediterranean and Asian diets, more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, legumes, less red and processed meats. According to Dr. Lee, there are also foods that have been shown to harm our DNA health defense mechanisms. These foods and drinks include foods high in saturated fat, fried foods, some meats, processed meat, ham, hot dogs, lunch meats, organ meats, sausage, sugar-sweetened beverages. Key Takeaway 6. Immunity a healthy immune system protects the body from invasions by viruses, bacteria, and parasites through a complex system of pattern recognition which allows immune cells to identify and destroy threats while leaving healthy cells alone. A well-functioning immune system knows when to ramp up or ramp down its immune response and is neither overactive nor underactive. Instead, it remains balanced and vigilant. Ideally, the immune system is on perpetual standby, ready to leap into action whenever necessary. The immune system is so closely linked to our health that every disease we could suffer is tied to it in some way, either through a weakened system or an overly active response. Weakened immune systems lead to illnesses as minor as colds and as serious as cancer. For example, cancer takes root because the immune system is too ineffective to detect cancer cells. An overactive immune system, on the other hand, causes autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases result in chronic inflammation and damage to organs. An example of an autoimmune disease is rheumatoid arthritis, in which autoantibodies attack the joints and cause pain and disability. Celiac disease is another example. People who have celiac suffer from autoantibodies that, when stimulated by gluten, attack the lining of the small intestine. According to Dr. Lee, if your immune system needs stimulation, you should concentrate on the following foods and drinks. Mushrooms. Eating mushrooms activates the gut, which stimulates the immune system to produce more antibodies. Aged garlic increases the number of immune T-cells and natural killer cells in the blood. Broccoli sprouts. Sprouts contain up to a hundred times more of the immune-stimulating bioactive as full-grown broccoli. 
Pacific oysters. Increases number of natural killer cells that eliminate virus infected or tumor cells. Extra virgin olive oil. Studies show that it activates immune T cells in the blood. Cranberry juice. Beneficial for gamma, delta T cells, which are first responders to bacteria and viruses. Concord grape juice. Contains bioactives that influence T cells. Blueberries. Increases number of natural killer cells. If you suffer from an overly active immune system, Dr. Lee recommends the following foods and drinks to calm inflammation and autoimmunity. Green tea. Lowers the number of pro-inflammatory T cells. Raw foods. Helps reduce inflammation. Key Takeaway 7. Dr. Lee's 5x5x5 Framework for Beating Disease Dr. Lee's list of foods he recommends is a long one, so he wanted to include a simple framework by which readers could implement his recommendations into daily life. That framework is his 5x5x5 framework. He describes it as a way to eat to beat disease. It's a strategy Dr. Lee developed to incorporate five times a minimum of five foods which support the five health defense systems. The system is not a strict set of guidelines, but is personal and unique to each person and can be customized to your food preferences and tastes. The framework focuses on adding beneficial foods instead of cutting foods out. Here's how to use Dr. Lee's 5 by 5 by 5 framework. For each of the five health systems, identify your favorite foods from the list of beneficial foods. From that list, choose five foods to eat every day. Make sure that all five of the health systems are covered. Eat all five of the foods you selected every day. Incorporate them into your meals, snacks, beverages, and so on. You should eat all five foods every single day. Dr. Lee knows that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to healthy eating, so he encourages his readers to use the 5x5x5 approach to create a personalized diet that takes into account their tastes, food allergies and sensitivities, particular health risks, budget, and practical considerations. This makes his approach more enjoyable and sustainable and also lends itself well to adaptation. Your body has five health defense systems, angiogenesis, regeneration, microbiome, DNA protection, and immunity. When functioning optimally, these systems will keep you healthy in a state of balance. When one or more of these systems are disrupted, the systems step up to the plate to take care of the problem behind the scenes. By eating to bolster each of these systems every day, you can strengthen your body's ability to resist and heal from disease. When you make good decisions about your food, you activate your health defenses to protect you from occasional bad decisions, plus environmental and genetic factors you can't necessarily avoid. There is no guarantee for any of us that we will remain healthy or live to be a 100. But Dr. Lee's research shows us that we can give our bodies what they need to heal themselves. He believes that we have radically underestimated our own power to restore our health. By improving our health systems, we give ourselves the best shot possible at beating disease and extending the length and quality of our lives. Dr. Lee recommends the following 5x5x5 five by five by five framework for doing so. Choose five foods benefiting one or more of the five health defense systems and enjoy them over the course of five eating opportunities throughout the day. What if I were to tell you that enjoying a kiwi could help protect you from cancer or that having a piece of dark chocolate could make your body better able to fight heart disease? You may not have ever thought of your diet as something that can actively defeat or lead to disease, but William W. Lee MD, author of Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself, shows us definitively how it can. The medical community is at a turning point in its understanding of how to prevent, rather than simply treat, life-threatening diseases. It seems that, even with all the technological advances we've made in the past several decades, 
Our collective health is getting worse, not better. Rates of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, obesity, and other chronic health problems are skyrocketing. But the latest cutting-edge nutritional research and clinical evidence shows that the power to protect ourselves from these diseases may be much simpler than we think. The secret to beating disease, it turns out, can first be found in our diets. You probably have a vague understanding that diet affects your health in some way. You probably know that salads are better than french fries and that overeating may lead to obesity. But do you know which specific foods pack the most punch in fighting disease? Do you know how to eat in such a way that harnesses your body's own mechanisms to find and destroy disease within itself? For the average person, taking the findings of the most recent nutritional and clinical studies and figuring out how to put them together and apply them to daily life would be difficult. Lucky for us, Dr. Lee has done this for us. In Eat to Beat Disease, Dr. Lee provides us with a detailed, actionable, research-based approach to using food to heal your body and prevent disease. He shows us how our bodies naturally resist serious diseases like cancer and heart disease through five defense systems, angiogenesis, regeneration, the microbiome, DNA protection, and immunity. He also explains precisely what we should eat to activate and bolster those systems. And, most importantly, he backs up his recommendations with dozens of studies that show us how we can use food to give our bodies the best shot possible at fighting disease. About Dr. William Lee Dr. William Lee is a widely published medical researcher, a TED presenter, and has served on the medical faculties at Harvard, Dartmouth, and Tufts. Currently, he is the head of the Angiogenesis Foundation in Cambridge, Massachusetts, conducting research into angiogenesis as a contributor to deadly disease. He has made it his lifelong mission to study the way food can support the body's five main defense systems, immunity, gut bacteria, stem cells, blood vessels, and DNA.